Hey, what's up guys and welcome to Xbox On and I am super excited because we have one of the very first unboxings of the brand new Xbox One X Product Scorpio Edition on YouTube. We're going to get inside the box as well, but before that, let's take a look at the packaging. So first things first, you're gonna actually notice on the front of the box is actually there's got a little throwback to the original Xbox where you've got like the air vents going across with the X, which is really cool, which actually, right, if I bring it across and I take a look, you may be able to notice a little difference between there and kind of notice the similarities with the Nexus in the middle. Also on the side of the box, you've got the contents which are gonna be in the Project Scorpio edition. So obviously you've got that vertical stand which doesn't come with the normal Xbox One X version, uh, which is really nice so you can stand your console by your TV or wherever you wanna have it. You've also got a Project Scorpio edition controller, which is really nice. Similar to the day one edition controllers that came with the, uh, the original Xbox One, uh, which I really still like. I've kind of got it in my collection still. Also on the front of the box, you've got this really cool metallic green for the Project Scorpio edition which looks really nice on the black as well. But anyway, enough talking, let's get into the box. Alright, so let's get into some of the more juicy stuff, the accessories box, including the Project Scorpio Edition controller, which I'm really excited about because, you know, I, I love controllers. Um, so we'll take that straight out of the pack straight away. If we open it up, you obviously get your standard two AA batteries with it as well. But if we have a look at the controller itself, you've got this really nice Project Scorpio logo right on the front of the controller in that lovely green. Uh, and also the buttons are gray rather than kind of having a traditional red, blue, uh, uh, green, uh, which is really nice as well. And obviously you've got the 3.5 millimeter jack on the bottom of the controller, so you can plug your headphones in if you just kind of want to sit back on the sofa uh, and not be plugged into your TV or anything like that. It's really nice, you've got the normal bumpers, everything you would expect with an Xbox One controller. It's really, really nice. I really love that little kind of small detail of the Project Scorpio logo across there. We've also got the cables that will be the exact same ones that if you've got the, the Xbox One S. So the standard power cable, that's one single cable you plug into your console and also the high speed HDMI. Um, so if you've got an S plugged into your system, you could just swap out the S, put in the X and it'll work. Anyway, it's time to get onto what we all really care about. So let's move these accessories to the side, including the vertical stand, which is in here, which we'll get onto in a second. But let's get the Xbox One X Scorpio edition out of the box and I will try not to break it. I have a terrible track record. Uh, I'm really excited because obviously, right, Xbox One X Scorpio edition has got a cool couple little additional features, which are really nice to the normal Xbox One X. And this is gonna be our first look at the Xbox One X since the reveal. So if we kind of right, carefully remove the sellotape to the sides and then BAM! I always feel like you have to do something like that. Front of the console, you've obviously got the Project Scorpio logo here next to this sticker, which if you're one of those people who don't remove it, remove it to fully reveal the Project Scorpio logo, which is really nice. You've obviously got the uh, power button right here. You've obviously got a USB port on the front. So if you've got a plain charge kit for your controller, for example, uh, you've got easy access to the front of your console. You've also got your sync button right next to that. You've got your IR blaster and obviously your disc eject. And one thing to point out as well, uh, if you're an owner of an original Xbox One, these are physical buttons now rather than touch sensitive, which is really nice. Um, and then on the top of the console, Right, there's a nice little gradient change which isn't on the Xbox One X, it's only on the Xbox One X Scorpio Edition. So it goes from light to dark straight across, which is really nice, and you kind of symbolize it by the, by the dots, which very similar to what's actually on the box art, uh, which is really, really cool. And if we have a look at the back of the console, you've also got all your ports. So you've got your power cable, obviously it's one cable now, you don't need a power brick. It's built into the console itself. You've got your HDMI out, your HDMI in, two more USB ports. So if you've got a hard drive where you want to store extra games, uh, you can just plug them into the back so they stay out of sight, which is really nice to do. You've got your IR out, you've obviously also got your optical cable and then your Ethernet cable uh, connection if you want to play over cable uh, rather than wireless. Um, and there's also a couple more really cool little Easter eggs on this. So you've obviously got the hello from Seattle on the side of the console right there, because uh, obviously Xbox is made in Seattle. And then this one, which was also on the front of the box, which I, I really like, is this these numbers here. 01 when the original Xbox was launched, 05 for the 360, 13 for the Xbox One, and then 17 
for the Xbox One X. I think it is an absolutely beautiful console. So obviously the Xbox One X looks absolutely gorgeous, especially the Scorpio edition with this gradient going across the top of the console. But personally, I love to have the vertical stand, which comes with the Project Scorpio edition. But obviously if you want to, you can pick it up separately if you just get the normal Xbox One X. It's really easy to clip on. It means that you can kind of having it stood next on your desk, next to your TV, next to your screen, however you want it. You can just slide it on like so, down the middle, clip it on, and then you can have it just stood there, which looks really awesome. But also what's the most important thing about the Xbox One X is what's inside it because it is the most powerful console in the world. So for those of you wondering about the specs, this machine is an absolute beast. It has an eight core custom AMD CPU clocked at 2.3 gigahertz, combined with a 50% faster hard disk drive that's going to give you faster load times and allow for advanced AI. You've then got 12 gigabytes of GDDR5 graphic memory with a 326 gigabyte memory bandwidth, which speeds up those load times and lets Xbox One X handle the 4K textures and assets that give your games incredible detail. And don't forget the six teraflops of GPU, which gives you that 4K resolution with much much more detail and makes existing games run better because it's important to remember that any game or accessory that works with the Xbox One will work with the Xbox One X and in many cases they'll load faster and run more smoothly. So there we have it, that is the Xbox One X Project Scorpio Edition unboxing. I am absolutely ecstatic to get my hands on this console, but these are extremely, extremely limited. So make sure you don't miss out. Go into the description below to pre-order one, because obviously everyone got behind the Project Scorpio since it got revealed at E3 last year, until it got revealed to be the X. Uh, and I feel like it's been a really nice throwback to the fans to kind of bring out the Scorpio Edition. So don't miss out, go ahead, pre-order. Also, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button because we're gonna have loads more stuff like this right here on Xbox On for all you Xbox fans. Also, drop a thumbs up on the video and let me know what you think of the Xbox One X Scorpio Edition in the comments down below. We'll see you guys next time.